time to replace these old style lamps. They are way outdated and uses more electricity. So here is your ding lighting, dust to dawn outdoor sensor wall lamp. The measurement of this is 11.81 inches by 7.84 inches by 5.12 inches and it weighs 3.8 pounds. The material is made of anti-corrosion waterproof metal and on three sides it's made of glass and you can reach up to access the bulb and by the way bulbs are included and it uses E26 type of bulbs 60 watt max also included is the instructions manual and it looks like they even put in one one glove <laughs> for installation of the bulbs I guess it comes with the screws the wall plugs and the wire connectors and instructions manual. But I'll walk you guys through it. It should be pretty basic. And even though this on top, there is even a sensor. So the sensor automatically turns on from uh, dusk to dawn. And if you want to disable it, just simply put a tape over it. That way you can use the light switch to have it constant on or off. It comes with the mounting bracket. Looks like it uses a simple positive and negative black and white. And also a ground wire. I think there's a standard size mounting brackets. And this is what the inside looks like. And for my bulb of choice, I decided to go with the Hudson Bulb Corporation vintage style lights. I like the color and the style of lights. 21,000K dimmable. So before I attempt any electrical work, either turn off the main breaker or turn off the light switch. Now I'm gonna remove the old lamp. So here's what the old wiring looks like. You know, you have your typical white, black, positive, negative, and then ground. So I'm gonna just disassemble that. So I may know that there are two white wires and two black wires coming from inside the house. So I need to remove this old mounting bracket and put in the new one because you can't reuse the old one because it's different spacing. So my next step is to remove this inside bracket. Okay, so I'm going to mount the new bracket on here, but notice the two holes of the old inside house bracket is right in line with the screws. So I'm gonna use the old screws to hang this bracket. I believe I can get away with these two holes right here. All right, I have the mounting bracket attached with the two screws. Now it's time to connect the wires. All right, I have all the wires connected, the two black to the black, two white to the white ground to the ground. Now to put on the wire caps. So in addition, I added some electrical tape for added security. So I tucked all the wiring inside the basket. Let's go and line this up. Alright, and then put the caps on there. And I just realized this can tilt. So in case you have it offset the angle. Time to install the bulbs and these are what they look like. Of course I'm wearing the gloves.
Alright, time to test it out. See if everything works. Okay, notice the other light is on. But why is it off? Don't forget, there is a light sensor up here. So if I cover this, check it out. See how it turns on? So we know that's working. It's 10 p.m. It should be dark enough now. Let's go ahead and check up on the light. I'm pretty excited. The light switch is on. Oh wow, that's beautiful. I am really falling in love with this outdoor wall lamp because it's quite elegant and stylish. The rotating feature is an added bonus, which I wasn't expecting. It also lights up my driveway for added security. As you guys can see, it can get pretty dark because there aren't any nearby street lights. The dust to dawn sensor is quite responsive, which is a nice feature to have. Don't forget, if you want to disable the sensor and prefer to manually turn it on and off, simply put electrical tape over the sensor. Installation was also pretty simple, so if you're looking to update your outdoor light fixtures with something more stylish, definitely check out the Ding Lighting Outdoor Sensor Wall Lamp.